So in this video, I'm going to do some practice problems for determining E and Z alkenes. So let's begin with this molecule right below. And so the first step, we're going to cut it in half. And then we're going to start with the left side and determine which one is the highest priority. So whether it's the bromine or the iodine, which one's a higher priority. And so in order to do this, we're going to look at the atomic numbers of bromine and iodine. And so here we have the atomic number of bromine is 35, while the atomic number of iodine is 53. And so the higher atomic, the higher atomic number gets the highest priority, and so in this case the iodine gets the higher priority. Now we do the same thing for the two molecules on the right. So we compare the fluorine and the chlorine. And so the atomic number of fluorine is 9, while the atomic number of chlorine is 17. And so in this case, chlorine is going to be the higher priority. So we'll draw a star next to that. Now remember that E isomers have the highest priority groups on opposite sides of the bonds, while Z has the highest priority groups on the same side of the bond. So same side being that would be the middle line. So now iodine and chlorine are on the same side, so it would be a Z isomer. Now let's try another practice problem. So first we start by cutting it down the middle. And once again, I'm going to start with the left. And so we have to compare fluorine versus this ethyl group. But really what you're comparing is this fluorine versus this carbon because they are in equivalent positions. So they're just as far away from this carbon right there of the alkene. And so when it comes to atomic numbers, you got fluorine is number nine, while carbon is number six. And so the reason why we're doing this carbon and not the hydrogen is because I probably could have drawn it a little better, but the hydrogens are bonded to the carbon. And so the carbon here and the fluorine are in the same position. So you have to compare that. And so in this case, the fluorine is going to be the higher priority. So we'll just draw a star there. And so now let's do the right side. So we have iodine as number 53 and this carbon right there as number 6. And so therefore the iodine is going to get higher priority. And so remember, if you have the higher priority on opposite sides, it's an E isomer. So E for this one. And in case you guys were wondering how to name this molecule, you essentially just write an E in front of the normal name. So it'd be E dash whatever name it is. I don't really feel like naming this one. But remember, the same rules for naming alkenes applies. Now let's try this problem. So this problem has two different alkenes that you're going to need a name. So it's a little harder. When it comes to naming this problem, you're going to have to rank, uh, I mean, count the carbons. And so keep in mind where you want to start with. So you want to start with the longest chain. And so we're going to start here. And this is due to the fact that if we start one, two, three here, it gives the bromine the lower number. While if you start one, two, three here, the bromine gets a much higher number. But the priority, remember, is the alkene. So either way, the alkene starts at number three, whether you number it this way or this way. But numbering it from left to right gives the bromine the lower number, so you do it that way. And so same thing, higher priority is bromine. Bromine has a higher atomic number than carbon. And so here it might help if you draw in that extra hydrogen. And so if you compare a hydrogen to a carbon, the carbon is going to get the higher priority. And so therefore, we'll just draw an, a star there. And so since the highest priority groups are on the same side, this alkene right there would be a Z alkene. Now let's look at the alkene here. So this right over here would get the higher priority, so this carbon right there. So we'll keep that star there. And then the same over here, so this would get the higher priority. 
And so as you can see, they're on opposite sides. And so if that's the case, then this gets the highest priority groups are on opposite sides that gets an E designation. And so to name this, the final name would be 3Z5E 3-bromo-octa-3,5-diene. And so it's important to remember that the 3 designation, you want to designate the lower number for the start of the alkene. And what I mean by that is you want to use the lowest number of the alkene. So as you can see, this alkene runs from carbon 3 to carbon 4. And so you always use the lower number when designating E or Z. And so that pretty much sums it up for the video. Thanks for watching. If you found it helpful or liked the video, please be sure to give it a like and share it with your friends.